Hey. I'm gonna have for everybody you guys who saw. Hell yeah. That's crazy, your last comic isn't married. He has like disappointed dad hair. I just. <laughs> He looks like his first words were, that boy ain't right. Like, he just says... <laughs> he looks like I should be calling him coach. Like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I've been stealing groceries lately, and fuck, does that save money. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> you know, that's, you can get away with it as so long as you just don't go to a grocery store. Like, if you go to a Target, you know, they'll doop, 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 they, when you walk out of the door. Yeah, you know what does it? Fucking doop, apples. You know, you don't have to pay for eggs. You can just like crack them into a Ziploc and hide it in your pocket. I don't even pay for the Ziploc. I rip that out of a bag. Too. I just turned 30. My new rule of thumb with age is just if it has an expiration date, it belongs to me. Like gas station bananas? Like, I'll steal the fuck out of a gas station banana. Every Wawa, Sunoco, they all throw out their bananas once they get those little speckles on them. It's like illegal to sell you a banana when it's good. <laughs> just let me have it, dickhead. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me. Like, just as I'm getting older, I'm just becoming way more, like, frugal. Like, all my clothes are from the thrift store. I, you know, I clip coupons out. I bought a used gun. <laughs> It's made it so much easier to steal groceries. <laughs> I don't even go in the store, I just wait in the parking lot. <laughs> Do you know you can buy used guns? How fucking scary is that? I just, yeah. I went into a gun store the other day and I was just bullshitting the guy. I was waiting for a friend, like, we're gonna go out, like, and I, like, I was like, all right, let me walk into this gun store. I'm just like, yo. I'd like to get my first gun. This guy's showing me like all these really nice, expensive ass guns. He's like, this is a Glock, this and that. This is a Mossberg, whatever. This one costs rent. And like, <laughs> I'm overwhelmed, right? And I'm just like, do you have anything in a budget? <laughs> and I was like, he, I don't know. He takes me around to a glass case that's full of used guns. And my first thought was, I don't want to put my fingerprints on someone else's crime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's the most encouraging heckle. Fucking, that's... Steal groceries? This man has thoughts. All right. <laughs> now, but this dude reassures me. Gun people have to be very honest. They have to reassure you. Apparently, the way you get used guns is a guy will go into a gun store, right? He'll buy a gun. Then he'll take it home and show it to his wife. And his wife will walk his ass back to the gun store. <laughs> And just make him, yeah, thank God for dipshits with no communication skills. Like, you're in group counseling and I get a half-off gun. <laughs> like, fucking bargain. I don't have it on me, you can laugh. Like, <laughs> they search you here. It's, <laughs> uh, it's fucking dumb. Uh, this is a new thought I just had uh, recently. Why don't uh, gay hookup bars have bidets in the toilets. <laughs> no, I'm fucking at, like, I'm just saying, of all places. <laughs> Less, dude, like, I don't know, my older brother's gay, and I, like, I grew up with a gay man in the house, and he was a bottom, so, like, one thing, I, I'm just saying, like, I did some privy information to everybody else, like, yo, butt sex requires maintenance. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> You think the little device would come standard, is what I'm saying. Is <laughs> I had a heart to heart with my brother the other day. Uh, he asked me, um, he asked me if I if I ended up having a gay son, what I would do. And honestly, I wouldn't care. But like, if he turned out to be a bottom, I'd make sure we have two bathrooms. That's because <laughs> maintenance. Look, let me <laughs> clarify. Like. I'm just, hey look, he was a hoe, and I grew up with him, and it, I'm just saying, I remember being in, I remember having to wait to piss for like two hours, cause dude is in there just fucking squirting away, just, uh, alright, too much info? Yeah, I'm sorry, did I ruin your chicken fingers? <laughs> well, I'm gonna finish the bit, so... <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, I'll, uh, I'll end on this. How dark can I get with you guys? All right. Go for it. Okay. All right, well, this is, I mean, this is real. Like, I did grow up with, uh, with my brother. He is gay. Uh, he contracted HIV a couple years ago. That's not funny, but uh, a cool thing did happen after he, uh, he contracted it. He met another guy who also had HIV. They, like, met in treatment, and they fell in love. Like, it's a real thing that happened. And I got to watch these guys, like, go through this journey together. Uh, they ended up buying a house together, and after they did, the dude proposed to my brother. And then the following Valentine's Day, they decided to just go to the courthouse and get eloped. So I got to watch, like, love turn into this, like, great thing. No big, like, surprises, no big, like, party. They just got a, I just got a text message one day, like, hey, look, this is my decision. This is what we're going to do. Uh, we're in for this long haul. And, yeah, I just got to witness something beautiful. Like, and my first thought was, damn, like, HIV is, like, the gay man's. Let's get married because she's pregnant. <laughs> yeah. It's like a shotgun wedding, but the but the barrel is loaded with AIDS. <laughs> you, know, you know what HIV has over pregnancy? Uh, or what doesn't have over pregnancy? Uh, you can't throw HIV in the garbage. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Thank you. <laughs>